So now we have access to the wild spire wastes. Good to see you. So we should do some quests there, I guess. There's new materials to grab from that area. The scholars think they'll be able to pinpoint Zora Madoras location okay. soon. I need the fifth to go find him and guarantee his safety. Alright, new to camp. Head to the wastes immediately. Accept that quest. Alright, let's not accept that quest just yet. Let's go to the blacksmith and see what new amazing things we can craft from the workshop. I've got tons of Baroth material. I got a small piece of Rathalos material. So we should be able to make some stuff. Let's forge some Palico equipment. I like to upgrade my Palico first. Ooh, yeah! Boop, boop, boop! I like that! He's the king of something. I don't know. And then... Ooh. A tiara and a rapier. And a, and a steel dress. <laughs> uh, okay. I... I can make this. I can make this whole set. It'll have less defense than the Kulu set, however. Wait a second. Oh, it's comparing it to that. All right. Boop, boop, boop. Yes, this will have much better stats than, uh... Hmm. Yeah, let's make this. Boop. Skip. Done. Come on. Now my cat is decked out in Baroth armor. Done. Sweet. Cat's upgraded. Now let's upgrade the me. <laughs> ah. So, oh, hold on. Um, Bogon. <gasps> I can make it into a Jagras Assault. An Iron Assault 3. Seems like that's as far as I could go. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's forge some armor. Shouldn't I be able to make some new armor? This is what I had on my wish list, but I can't make it. Boop, boop, boop. Although now this is all better anyway. Um, let's see here. It's all about getting that stat up, you know? Item prolonger. Item effect duration plus 10 percent. Stamina surge. Stamina recovery speed plus. That's good. Marathon runner. Ooh. I like that. Let me get those greaves. Yeah. Alright, a new helmet would be nice. I'm still stuck with, like, the, the six st the six defense helmet. So, what am I missing here? Um... I guess we can make a Jagger's helmet. Yeah? And... what's that? Muck resistance. Reduces limits on movement speed and evasion. Alright. It's the only thing I can make. Botanist? One extra consumable herb item per gather? Sweet! Removes the cycle from the sharpening process? I like that. I'm not doing any sharpening because I have my bow gun right now, but we can switch it up. We can we can switch back to a weapon that requires sharpening. Yeah, we did two missions with the bow gun. Let's switch it up. Sweet! Upgraded me. I am upgraded now. Alright. I think I'd like to have that helmet next, though. Oh, yeah! I wanna cover up my stupid face. I wanna cover up my whole stupid body. Look like that! I'll look like a freaking Gundam! Alright. Now then, weapons. It's, okay, it seems like I can still only make metal or bone. Seems like no matter what, you have to start off with that item. 
So let's go to Charge Blade. And I can't make anything with that. What about just good old sword and shield? Hmm? Hmm? I can't make any of this. Alright, let's do Charge Blade. Um... So, okay, yeah, Earth Crystal is the material I've been needing. How do I get those Earth Crystals? I'm not sure. Great Jagras Claw is all I need for that. Hmm. Alright, well... Let's upgrade the Sword and Shield. Equip it. There we go. So... Yeah. Bam. Sword and Shield. Let's go do a quest with this. Do we do the next story quest? I guess. Sinister Shadow in the Swamp. Complete the assignment. I feel like this is going to be... Yeah, fighting a large monster. I don't really want to fight a large monster with my sword and shield. At least not one that I've not seen before. Um... Let's fight a couple of great Jagrises as an expedition. Yeah? No, that's not a Jagras. Although sometimes quests... Hmm. Maybe I should look at this more intensely than what I'm doing. I don't understand these. Okay, I'm going for the one that has the gold reward, I suppose. Voucher? No. No vouchers. Bam. Done. Let's go eat a meal! And make sure I'm bringing the proper equipment with me this time. I've got all the stuff I need for... ...bowgun usage. I should put all that away now. Uh, just give me a meat platter. Good old-fashioned meat platter. Give me that health up. Give me that attack up. Uh, that can go away. All of this can go away. Bullets, too. Okay. Yeah. 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 And... Wait. S sort this. Done. Definitely want to bring my last fucking pitfall trap, I guess. And a handful of those. Try to capture this thing again. And... What does it do again? Does it poison? No, it picks up, like, pots and shit and throws them at you. I guess I'll take an armor skin. Just one armor skin. Boom. Done. Because I've already got the extra attack from the the meal I ate. So it seems like it'll be a good idea to balance it out with an all the defense boost as well. For those of you who don't know, armor skin and demon drug are both consumables that increase your attack and defense until the next time you faint in battle. So I can take this right now. And I have this stat boost until I die. Which, since I have the extra stats, I probably won't die. Won't that be great? Ooh, I should take all of that, actually. Uh, yeah, take all of these. These are free. These are absolutely free. Why would you not take those? The power coating? Okay, it doesn't seem like you can coat your sword and shield like in previous games. Uh, eat the ration. And let's go fight a land Kulu. Oh, there it is. Hello, my friend. Yeah! Ultimate speed! So many slices that you can do. Ha ha ha! Rising slice! Ow! Round slice! Uh, 
Ah, shit. Gotta get used to that sword and shield again. Uh oh. Sword and shield is fast, but each individual slice is not as strong as, say, the great sword or the katana or whatever. So it's all about just constant, constant, constant assault on the enemy. Now the beautiful thing is that your speed is not so hindered with the sword and shield, because it is such a small weapon. Ah. Come on. Where are you going, you freak? Track the monster. It's right there. Ah. Oh, shit. Ah! Damn it. Fucking asshole. <laughs> oh. The other cool thing is that you can use an item. Wait, no you can't. I thought you could use an item with a sword and shield. What the fuck? I was under the impression that you could still use- Oh, you have to hold up your shield. Okay, if you guard, you can use an item. For instance... I am hurt. I do not want to put my weapon away, although- Ah, shit! Okay. Doesn't matter. Drink that potion. Get that vigor fly. Yeah. Chop. Can I chop its tail off? Ow! Fucker. Come back here. Also, you'll notice that it's very fast with the drawing weapon and sheathing the weapon. There's no huge, long, slow animation. It's nearly instant. Anyway. That's the advantage of the sword and shield. Definitely need this. Yay. Okay. Got him! Yeah, right on his head. Stab him in the eye. Uh, uh. Come on! Triple strike! Yeah! Ooh, I broke his feathers! Wait, what's this? Ooh. Cool scale. Holy crap, there's a lot of freaking Jagrises! Do the roundhouse slice. He's going nuts. He's done digging shit out of the ground now. Shit, my sword's broken. Ah, sharpen it! Damn it! I don't like the look of that giant rock he's holding. Damn it. Great, he pulled out a weapon and then he ran away. Get back here, you fuck. Have anything? Got a ration. Might as well just take the easy ration.
Where'd he go? When's he gonna stop? Ah! Yeah, I broke another part. I don't know which part. Probably his little, you know, elbow feathers. Ah. Uh, give me that piercing pod. I'll keep him from running away. Like so! Yeah! You ain't running away no more. Is he limping? I cannot tell. Where'd he go? Oh sweet, there's a Jagras nearby. Oh, very nearby, there it is. I'll just run past him. Yeah! These two monsters working together. Oh, well, okay. Now I'm mounting the Jagras. Fucking fire faster! Come on! Get that triple stab. Yeah! Boom! Yes! I don't care about you. I'm after this thing. It's limping. I guess I should just capture it now. But I gotta get it somewhere where it won't continue to run away. Come on. Get to your end goal. I don't know where you're going exactly, but I'm right behind you. Oh, it's here. It's trying to crack open an egg. Not on my watch! With my tranks. Yeah! Turn to HQ. Broken egg. I got a special material for interrupting its egg eating animation. How cool is that? All right. So, scale, hide, scale, armor sphere. Uh, how do I get plume? Sweet, that looks rare. And the Palico got some iron ore. Alright. Ooh, Tail Rider. Health increased. Good. I can I can recruit healthier Jagresses. Somehow them being on my team increases their vitality. Now! Don't let me down. I need to deliver some items. There we go, capture a large monster. Complete deliveries. Here, take this moss wine hide. Got a king truffle. I need an anginath pelt and a large monster bone. And I'll get a new camp. Okay. And these investigations? What 
the hell are these? Ooh, that one's good. I'll do that one again so I can get that gold reward. Uh, that's all silver. I'll take that. And that. And that. Ooh, holy shit. Whoa! Five bronze! I like the look of that. I'll take that one because it has a gold. Okay. Register bounties. Um... Kill small monsters. Done. Dig up bone piles. Sure, why don't I just... Yeah, just give me all of this. I'm gonna do this eventually anyway. And then in six days, I have to hunt three specified monsters, being the Great Jaggers. Four Anjanaths. I haven't even started doing that. Five specific monsters, which are the Flying Wyverns. Why do I have... Do I have any Flying Wyverns in my database yet? And complete all limited bounties to get a silver egg. Sweet. Let's go talk to the Reese. Wait, why are you? Oh, hello. Good to see you. Yeah. But I already did. Good luck. Oh, specific quest: snatch the snatcher. I've captured two of those things alive. But now it's my quest. At least I know it'll be easy, because I've done it many times. Alright, show me... ...some flying wyverns. Rathian and Rathalos, of course. The Diablos is a flying wyvern? I wouldn't imagine that it's a flying wyvern. Hmm. Alright, so Rathian I have very familiar with. Same thing with Rathalos. If I can just find out where these things are, I can, uh, I can hunt them down. Okay. So, should we take another small quest, or should we go next for the big quest? Hmm. Let's go for a small quest. Join a quest. Or start a quest. Optional. Ooh, a new level 2 quest. Snatch the Snatcher. Just capture that thing again, which I know perfectly how to do. But then there's this. The Vespoids might give me some good materials. So I'm gonna go do that. Uh best way to kill those Vespoids with a poison smoke bomb. Can I make one of those? Poison smoke bomb. Poison smoke bomb. There we go. Smoke nut and toadstool. Done. Alright. Grab them. And we're done. Yeah? Sweet. Let's go. I don't even need to eat. I'm fighting some shitty Banabras. They're not called Banabras. I'm using terms that I'm familiar with from previous Monster Hunter games. Small flying insects that give little tiny wings that you need to make bows. In this game, they're Vespoids. In the other game, they were Banabras. What do you got for me? Free ammo. Don't mind if I do. Alright, I know where these Vespoids are. Uh... This way? Whoa, okay. Oh, it's a swine. Fucking swine! Ha 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 ha! Bugs. All right, here's our banabras. Also a Yilan Kutku again. 
Holy crap, there's a lot of banabras here. Well, I'll just let him walk away. I don't care about him right now. These! Little fucks, however. Yeah! Poisoning them is the best way to ensure that you can carve them. Okay? And yes, they do give the monster fluid. You need this monster fluid for a lot of shit. Well, you don't need it for a lot of shit, it's just that it's hard to get from anything other than these little bugs. Also, I would demonstrate, but I don't want to waste the corpse. Sometimes when you hit them with your melee weapon, they'll just straight up explode. Like, your melee damage is too strong. Come on. Get near me. How do I lure them to me? Come on! Alright, sweet. I got... one. I only have limited smoke bombs. And unfortunately... These Vespoids aren't gonna make it easy for me. Alright, I need something I can shoot. There we go. Fuck you! If you're clever, you can use the slinger to distract monsters. Or I could straight up shoot them. What are you looking at? Come on. Urgh. See? Look at that. Killed one, and it did not drop its corpse because my attack was too strong. It seems like these red pits work. Yeah. Got three of them, with that poison bomb. Come to me! Come to me! Yes! Give me those monster fluids. Damn it! No! It's just gathering the stupid feathers. I want the Vespoid corpse. Thank you. What do we have here? Red pit? This is a lot easier than Monster Hunter Generations and Monster Hunter 4. It was such a pain in the ass killing these, like, small creatures. But now it's like there's just free shots everywhere that guarantee that they won't explode. And that's amazing! Alright, two more. I can kill two more quick. Yeah. Damn. Ooh, I'll take those scatter nuts though. Scatter nut is slinger ammo. It's good for staggering monsters. Or doing that to him. Damn it, that's too strong. Holy crap! Yeah, that is way too strong. Like, this, you still have a chance of getting them to drop. Gotta be gentle with these small creatures. Hit them too hard, and they'll just straight up die. Ah! No, I don't want the red pit! I'm trying to carve this stupid Vespoid. Alright, I got a good bit of materials from these Vespoids. And... I'll capture some more butterflies, I guess. They give me... just points. Latchberry. Flame nut. Honey. I need that honey. Is that it? I guess so. 
Have a sausage. Don't eat it underwater. You'll drown. All right, well, oh, sweet, good. See, if you failed to kill the Vespoids in a way that let you carve them, at least the quest gives you the parts like the wings, the shells, and the monster fluid. And we shall now see what this monster fluid can do for me. Yeah! I have level three research on the Yulukanku. So let's go see what the third page of research shows. Next episode.